For today's lesson, you need to have your notes on complementary and supplementary angles. Um, and the first part of this, we're actually going to watch um, another YouTube video, which you can see um, here is the address here, and you can see it on your printout. I'm going to go to that because it's a really great visual. This is an L square used to measure right angles, which are 90 degrees. 90 degree corner corners are found everywhere in buildings, against walls, in doorways, on the floor. Sometimes in the real world, two angles join together to form a right angle. Other times, two angles join together to form a straight angle. These two angles together form a right angle. We call them complementary because when you add them, they equal 90 degrees. This step is a great example of two angles that form a straight line. These two angles are called supplementary because together they add up to 180 degrees. It's confusing because complementary and supplementary sound alike. I have three ways to help you remember them. Don't feel like you have to memorize all three ways. Pick the one that makes the most sense for you and remember that one. In the alphabet, the letter C for complementary comes before the letter S for supplementary. And in a number line, 90 comes before 180. So C complementary goes with 90 degrees and S supplementary goes with 180 degrees. A corner is a 90 degree angle and a corner is complementary, C for C. A straight angle equals 180 degrees, and supplementary angles are straight angles, S for S. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. The word complementary has one P in it. If I take that P and turn it around, it looks like a 9. Put a 0 on it and it's 90. Complementary is 90 degrees. The word supplementary has two P's in it. Turn those P's around and they're nines. Add your zeros to the end, 90 plus 90 equals 180. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So there was a great visual of complementary and supplementary. Um, in the diagrams below that you see here, ABC is a measure of 30 degrees and DEF is a measure of angle of 60 degrees. The sum of the measure of these angles is 90 degrees. When the sum of the measure of two angles, two angles, not three or four, but when the sum of two angles adds to 90, those angles are called complementary. So 30 and 60, as you saw in the video, things that add together, two angles that add together, that make 90 degrees, those are called complementary angles. So the first um, uh, little example here says, identify the complementary angles. Name each pair of complementary angles. So we're trying to find numbers that add together to make 90 degrees. And I can see that angle ABC here, and that's the angle symbol, um, is 66 degrees, and angle DEF, if I add those two together, they're going to add to 90 degrees together. So these are a pair of, the first pair of complementary angles. Um, 48 IGH, when I add it to 42 MNO, so angle, and you could name it IGH, oh I'm sorry, IHG, let me get the order there correct, the vertex here is in the center, so angle IHG or you could call it angle GHI. Either one of those, um, as long as the H is in the center, that's 48 degrees, and angle MNO or angle ONM, a little review. Um, and it doesn't matter what order, as long as the N is in the center. So MNO or ONM. That 48 plus 42, those are a pair of complementary angles. And the last pair that I see here, the two that are left, JKL, angle JKL or angle LKJ, 
along with angle PQR, angle PQR, and again, I could name it angle RQP, as long as the Q is in the center, the vertex angle is in the center. 54 plus 36, those add to 90 degrees, so that's a pair of complementary angles. So in the next example, name three pairs of complementary angles. So I would like you to pause the video and find the pairs of angles that add to 90 degrees. So hit pause now, do it on your own, and then we'll check. Okay, so the first pair that I see is angle ABC here, angle ABC goes with 61 degrees, goes with this 29 degrees here, so 61 and 29 adds to 90, and angle RQP. That's a pair of complementary angles. Hopefully you found that pair. And um, to check, again, you hopefully you have angle DEF paired with angle ONM because 38 and 52 adds to 90 degrees. So that leaves the last pair of 69 degrees, angle JKL and angle GHI. So those two, angle JKL and angle GIH or HIG, make sure you get the right order there, um, those two add to 90 degrees. So Hopefully you got those all correct. So complementary angles. Find an angle measure involving complementary angles. Angles K and P are complementary. They're only giving you one of them here. If K, the measure, this little m means the measure. If the measure of angle K is 19 degrees, they're asking, what is the measure of angle P? So what's the complement of that? It's called the complement. So P, you can see the answer here, P must be 90 minus that 19 degrees, so P is 71 degrees. With angle K here, what's the measure of angle? Again, it's asking you the question, what's the measure of angle P? How much is that? If K is 64, so what is the complement of 64? 90 take away 64, we can see that P must be 26 degrees. That's the degree symbol. So you're finding the complement of an angle. And here's a little, again, guided practice. Angles A and B are complementary. This means the measure of angle A is either 28 or 73 or 36 or 15. And the measure of angle B is its complement. So find the complement of A. That's what they're asking you to do here. So if we were to fill in this table, 90 take away 28, this would be 62 degrees. 90 take away 73 would be 17 degrees. So the complement of A would be 17 degrees, or the measure of angle B would be 17 degrees. 90, if A is 36, 90 take away 36, that would give us 54 degrees as the complement of 36. 90 take away 15 degrees, A, so the complement of A would be 75 degrees, or angle B would be 75 degrees. So complements add to, and I remember it as complement, the word complement begins with C, like corner, and 90 degree angles make a corner. They are perpendicular. They sum to 90 degrees. Two angles that sum to make a corner, complementary corner. That's how I remember it. Makes 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, the other ones that you saw there. When an angle, two pairs of angles, a pair, or excuse me, a pair of angles adds to 180 degrees, when the sum of them is 180, two angles, they are called supplements. So you can see here that angle PQR and angle STU are 42 and 138 degrees, respectively. When you add them together, you get 180. Supplementary angles begins with S, and they 
are the same as a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. Supplementary S, straight, that's how I remember it, 180. Complementary corner, 90. So supplementary S, straight angle, 180 degrees. So a pair of angles that adds to 180 are supplements or supplementary. Tell whether each pair of angles is supplementary. If A is 96 and B is 84, do they add to 180? 96 plus 84? Yes. So they are supplementary. Letter B here, measure of angle C is 16 and D is 74. If I add 16 and 74, I get 90. They are not supplements because they are complements. They add to the corner, 90 degrees. Choice C here. I is 636 degrees and J is 164. If I add 36 and 164, I get 200. They are not a pair of supplementary angles. There's, it's too much. It's over 180. Tell whether each pair of angles is supplementary. So 32 and 108, 32 and 108 makes 140. So that answer is no. Those are not supplementary. 45 and 45, that adds to 90, so that is no, because those are complementary. Complementary angles, not supplementary, so that answer is no. 168 and 12, well that does add to 180, those, that sum is 180, so that answer is yes. And 85 and 95, that also adds to 180, so that answer is Yes. Angles A and B are supplementary, so they have to add to 180 degrees. Supplementary straight. Find the measure of angle B for each measure of angle A. So find the angle B. So 180 minus, so what is the supplement of A? What's the supplement of A is what we're trying to find out. So 180 minus 82 would give me 98 degrees is the measure of angle B, so the supplement of 82 is 98. The supplement of 126, so 180 minus 26, 180 minus 26 would give me 154. So the supplement of 26 is 154. The supplement of 136, 180 minus 136, that supplement would be 44 degrees. And the supplement of 105, 180 minus 105 would give me 75 degrees. So the supplement of 105, or the measure of angle B, is 75. Uh, that's it for today, and we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles in class.